Well, hello, everyone. Can you guys hear me in the back okay? Great, thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Michael Holly. I'm the Vice President of Product Supply at Clorox, and we're thrilled to be here in Berkeley County today to share more information about the proposed cat litter facility that we hope to bring to the area. As many of you know, we uh, recently submitted our sketch plan to the Berkeley County Planning Commission to build this new state-of-the-art manufacturing operation just off of Interstate 81 at the Tabler Station exit. And hopefully you've learned today our company makes a wide range of leading household brands. Uh, but of course, this manufacturing plant is going to be manufacturing our great Fresh Step and Scoop Away cat litter brands. Before I share more about our proposed site, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge our special guests who are going to deliver a few brief remarks. We're very fortunate to be joined by several local, county, and state officials in the room. First of all, thank you and welcome Governor Jim Justice. <laughs> Delegate Eric Householder, who represents the Tabler Station area here in Berkeley County. Chris Strobel, who is here on behalf of U.S. Senator Shelley Moore Capito. <laughs> Keith McIntosh, who is here on behalf of U.S. Senator Joe Manchin. <laughs> and of course, Sandy Hamilton with the Local Economic Development Authority. At this time, <laughs> at this time I'd like to turn it over to Delegate Householder. Well, good morning, and uh, thank you, Mr. Holly. Now, on behalf of the West Virginia Legislature and our Berkeley County delegation, we are excited that Clorox has decided to locate a new facility here in Berkeley County. Now, when the news broke that Clorox had decided to make Berkeley County their home, I'm happy to report that it was well received from the applause on the House floor. Now, I want to welcome Clorox to their home, to their new home here in Berkeley County. And it should be no surprise that West Virginia is filled with friendly people. We are very proud of our state, and we want every visitor and every new business to Berkeley County to feel at home. Uh, we are very appreciative that Clorox believes to make everyday life better every day, as many of us in the West Virginia legislature continue to make West Virginia a better place to live, work, and raise a family. Now, our business climate and our skilled workforce continues to lure new industries to our state. And we're excited about the positive impact, economic impact, that this new $190 million investment will bring to our local economy. Now, as a policymaker in this state, I can say we remain committed to the things that matter to all businesses operating in West Virginia, which are building a great education system, continuing to foster a business-friendly climate, reducing the regulatory burdens, and creating a strong infrastructure that allows for even more jobs. And we are excited that Clorox will be adding 100 new full-time jobs. Now, in closing, I want to say that Clorox represents the classic American story. It's a company based on a solid foundation with over 105 plus years of doing business and a belief that their products have a meaningful impact on consumers' lives. So in the spirit of hospitality, I wanna thank you for choosing Berkeley County and I wanna assure you that we are committed to securing the success of Clorox as our newest corporate partner. Thank you. Delegate Householder. Our next guest to speak is Chris Strobel, who will be delivering remarks on behalf of Senator Capito. I do bring greetings on behalf of Senator Capito. Uh, she couldn't be here today. Uh, I'm proud to be here uh, on her behalf, but also because I'm a neighbor. I live about a mile and a half that way. I'm very excited personally as well for Clorox to be here. Uh, I do bring greetings. The letter is addressed to Mr. Michael Holly, Vice President of Product Supply, the Clorox Company. Dear Michael, I'm sorry I can't be with you and Governor Justice today as you unveil the new Clorox Fresh Step Scoop Away plant in Berkeley County. 
I share the excitement you feel about this new chapter of the company's history and the expansion of the company's footprint in West Virginia. As companies large and small have confirmed with expansion announcements here over the last decade, West Virginia's Eastern Panhandle provides an outstanding foundation for successful development. Among its assets are a qualified workforce, strong governmental partners in the Berkeley County Council, Berkeley County Development Authority, and West Virginia Department of Commerce, and robust connections to air, rail, and highway infrastructure. The ID1 Industrial Park is one of Berkeley County's first mixed-use parks. Clorox's planned facility will be the latest jewel in the park, with 100 new full-time jobs and an estimated $190 million in economic impact. The Eastern Panhandle also appreciates Clorox's commitment to community investment through cash donations, product donations, and corporate volunteerism. I look forward to working with Clorox and Berkeley County in the future as growth continues in this vibrant part of West Virginia. Again, thank you for inviting me to be a part of today's open house. I am honored to serve West Virginia in the United States Senate. Sincerely, Shelley Moore Capito, United States Senator. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Strobel. Next, I'd like to introduce Rainer Kissel, who's from Congress in uh, Morrissey's office. Moody's. Moody's office, excuse me. the audience. On behalf of Congressman Mooney, he regrets that he cannot be here. He is traveling. But I will just uh, add to what has already been said. He welcomes Clorox very much to the Eastern Panhandle, part of his district. And he will do whatever he can in the uh, Congress of the United States to um, get rid of burdensome regulations, help the president in that regard, and welcome to Clorox. Thank you, Rainer. Next up, I'd like to invite um, Keith McIntosh, who's going to provide remarks on behalf of Senator Manchin. Mr. McIntosh. Thank you, Mr. Holland. Delegate Householder, Governor. Good, Good morning. morning. Senator Manchin regrets that he could not be with us this morning and asked that I deliver marks on his behalf to everyone here. Greetings from Joe Manchin, United States Senator. On behalf of the citizens of the Mountain State and as your United States Senator, it is my distinct honor to welcome those attending today's celebration of the Corox Company's proposed investment in beautiful Berkeley County. We all know West Virginia is the perfect location for business. And this facility is truly an investment in our people and in the future of the state. We're home to the most hardworking, loyal, patriotic people in the nation. And it's always exciting to see businesses from across the nation show their interest in our beautiful state. Not only would this addition have an outstanding economic impact, bringing 100 full-time jobs to the area, but Clorox also has a strong legacy of supporting local communities. With 18 manu manufacturing plants across the country, Clorox hopes to build on their existing presence in West Virginia, where there is a long, proud history in Mineral and Tucker counties. I offer my sincerest appreciation and thanks to the leadership of the Clorox company and all those who had a hand in making today's events possible. Thank you and God bless. To warmest regards, Chairman Manchin III, United States Senate. Thank you, Mr. Rakatosh. Next, I'd like to invite Sandy Hamilton from Berkeley County Economic Development to join us at the podium. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. What a wonderful day. Thank you so much, Governor, for being here today. We appreciate your presence and your support, your continued support. And Delegate Householder and, and our guests. Um, what an incredible project. I, I just like everyone that's here to just give yourselves a hand because you care about what's happening in our community and you came out on a beautiful Saturday morning to find out more and to support this project. So I'd like to give each of you a hand for being here today. Also, 
um, I'd be ne negligent if I didn't say that, you know, any project that we have that comes to our area is, is not brought here by a single person or a single entity. Where our strength lies and that we work together as a community and we're, we're a team. And I see one of my real important team members standing in the back of the room right now. Uh, Tina Coles, our Chamber CEO and President, is here today. Tina, thank you for the great job that the Chamber does to support businesses in our area and the partnership that we have is just invaluable. We also have, I see uh, Dan Dolye in the audience. Dan's a county councilman, also serves on my uh, board of directors for the Development Authority. Thank you, Dan, for your support and for being here as well. Elaine was here earlier. Elaine Mock is still here. Thank you, Elaine. Elaine's also on our county council. And um, early on, I recall we had just a conversation where Clorox said we need to uh, do some, as part of due diligence, we need to talk with some people and find out just some more information to determine, you know, if this is a really a good fit. And I think Michael went about maybe a 24-hour window. We had 30 people in a room that addressed every question you could possibly have and some you hadn't thought of yet. <laughs> and, it, and it's people like our county councilman, our planning, our engineering, our chamber that, that really make this happen. It's totally a team effort. And one of the things that impressed me most in my first phone conversation with representatives from Clorox was their community engagement. If this wasn't going to be a good fit for our community, they weren't interested in being here. But obviously it's an incredible fit. They're, they're a wonderful company, which I'm thinking with your questions today and the information that was presented, you were able to see that. So on behalf of the Berkeley County Development Authority and Berkeley County, I just want to say welcome to Clorox and we're just really excited that uh, you're considering Berkeley County for your next home. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Ms. Hamilton. Finally, I'd like to invite Governor Jim Justice to share his thoughts with everyone. my little stool with me because you see I just want to sit and talk with you just one second we got Delegate Barnett, Delegate Espinosa, Delegate Householder, we've got lots and lots of important people here that represent Shelly and Joe and we thank all of you in every way we especially thank Sandy but more than even all of them, I thank you. And the most important thing that I've heard said here is just this, is you came out on a Saturday morning when you could have been doing all kinds of different stuff because you care. You're the eyewitness account of why things are happening in Berkeley County and all across this great state in a super, super positive way. You know, as I look out over you, I see Jill Upson. And Jill is representing our minority affairs in lots of different ways and doing a fabulous job. But the guys that are the most important of all, on top of all that, and Michael, you might have to forgive me because I've, I've I'm terrible on names. And the other gentleman that I met was everything? Okay. Well, let's just think about this. Clorox has 18 or so plants across this great land, and they have now three plants in one and only one state. That's right here. And you gotta clap, because for them to come here, that's big stuff. I think they're gonna make a product called Fresh Step, is that correct? Yes, sir, you got it. And, you know, if you look back throughout all time, the name Clorox has been with all of us since birth. A company that is a world leader, surely an American icon, 
Absolutely, a company that is good in every way. They support our communities and everything else. They do everything under the sun. And we couldn't be any more happier than have them in West Virginia and again have a first. We're the only state with three of your plants. Now that's great stuff. But let me tell you, the thing that really humbles me the most is just this, is we are doing really tons better in the state. We don't want to disrupt, you know, I've said so many times, what, you know, somebody said to me the other day, he said, where do you see us, Governor, in 20 years from today? Now pay really close attention to this because I won't say too many smart things, but this is a smart thing. Where I see us 20 years from today is with all the goodness and opportunities that all the other states have and the ability for you and all of us to live in paradise. Now just think about that, because that was pretty smart. Really and truly, we want all the goodness, but we want to always preserve us who we are, our families, these incredible mountains, our incredible air, incredible water, all the incredible things that we have that we absolutely selfishly love, and we're not going to give up. We're not going to give up who we are for anything. But at the same time, we're growing like crazy. You're knocking it out of the park right here in Berkeley County, in Eastern Penn. You are doing a roadmap that Charleston needs to get your playbook and run and run and run and run. You're doing fabulous stuff. So at the end of the day, all I can say for all of those, the dignitaries that are here, for all of us, for absolutely all of Clorox commitment to us, the goodness of the commitment to us, I truly thank you. But I thank you, too. I thank you for having a love for this state and being involved. You see, at the end of the day, that's what so many people choose not to do now. Nobody wants to get involved. Nobody really wants to be involved. Because when you're involved, there's times when you're going to stub your toe. It's so much easier to sit on the porch in a lot of different ways, but if we sit on the porch, you could bet one thing for sure. There ain't nothing going to happen. So I would say thanks to our Commerce Department, thanks to all those in economic development, thanks to all y'all, thanks to everybody for making this happen. And mostly, Michael, thank you in every way. Thank you all. Thank you. thank you all so very much for, uh, for your comments here today, and thank you for the community coming out. Over the past few weeks, uh, we've had a chance to get out and meet many of you, and we are deeply appreciative of the warm welcome we've received here, both with local, uh, uh, within the local community and from the state, uh, and we're very excited about, the, about what we've seen here in the community. We do have a long, proud history in West Virginia, so this is not a surprise to us with our Kingsford plants uh, in Mineral and Tucker County. And we're excited about this prospect of building on this existing presence right here in West Virginia. And we think that we found a location that is the perfect fit uh, here in Berkeley County. Some specific reasons, and I know there's a ton of details and I encourage you to go through the, uh, the different stations that we have set up today. But some of the reasons why we're here is of course a lot of existing connection to local industry and infrastructure that's already been created, especially in the Tabler Station area. We're very close to Interstate 81, which is very important for us to be able to get our products, our great products out to customers. Our analysis has showed there's a, there's a very skilled and readily available workforce and numerous training and development opportunities in the area. And finally, not insignificantly, the ability to use local Winchester and Western Railroad to transport a large percentage of our raw materials, including local limestone supply, uh, really is co uh, consistent with our sustainability beliefs and will allow us to have a smaller carbon footprint. We are looking forward to joining the Berkeley County community if the project is approved. 
and this uh, site will create new jobs that will have a huge impact. We've already talked about the $190 million in total estimated economic impact in the local community. We've also talked how that's going to come through the hiring of 100 new full-time positions with full benefits and average salaries that will be above the county average. Hopefully you'll see through our stations and some of the other information we pre uh, presented, we also strive to be a great partner in every community, a great neighbor and a great steward of the environment. It's in our company's values to support the places where we live and work, and we would have that same commitment here. We pride ourselves in investing in our employees, and we will do the same here. We undertake a variety of efforts to reduce our carbon footprint and minimize impacts on neighbors. We also volunteer and find ways to support the local community by joining civic organizations, donating products, and participating in local initiatives. And these are just a few of the examples that I hope that you'll hear about as you go through the stations and the information we have to present today. Whilst we're still moving through the review process, we welcome collaboration with the community and we've loved getting to know folks and answering questions. I encourage you to visit each of the stations. The project team that's here, these are folks from the Clorox company with a wide range of careers. We have folks from R&D to project managers to engineers to site leaders. I have the site leader from the other two plants here in West Virginia. And we really appreciate them coming out and supporting the event today. And I do hope you'll take time to learn about our community and social responsibility initiatives as well as our commitment to sustainability. Thank you very, very much for each and every one of you giving up your cold Saturday morning some time here. It was very cold coming out, and we do hope you have some time to get some refreshments and make yourself feel welcome and learn more about the project. Thank you all very, very much.